Time for some action. Time for some action. Time for some action. Time for some action. Yo, SD Smith in the building, the owner of RTW Action, formerly TLW Action. I am holding here the belt that will be used as the new belt instead of the World Heavyweight Championship belt. But, people, I know it's been a while. I know it has been a while, but I'm trying to get it back, trying to get it started. RTW Action has been in action, just not on the air. So, this is just a little recap, little little bring you up to speed type video now this is gonna be fast ish but uh pay attention because we got some stuff going on let's start it now right here you see this man this man goes by the name of Terrence Slick Jenkins he is one of the original roundtable members and if you don't know uh, one of the original roundtable members also is on D29 show. Go check that out. There should be a link or something somewhere. I don't know. Y'all know the deal. If y'all with the roundtable, y'all know the deal. But he was one of the ones that came up. He went with the contract saying, okay, it's now RTW. We were the original roundtable. And now I signed this contract. And the first thing he does is fire my GM. Now, as you can see, the GM is escorted out of the building. But, there's only a little problem with Slick's plan, because after that show, I come up to him letting him know that uh, this contract's a little different from what he thought it would be. I actually switched the contract to where basically, he paid me to just change the name to RTW, but I'm still the owner. I'm still the man in charge. And he's trying to argue with me that, uh, you know, the contract says this, but I'm pointing it out right here. I'm the owner. All you did was change the name. Thanks, buddy. And you have a nice day. Yeah, he, he didn't like that. So he came up with a slick plan. And he signed to deal with the devil himself. This man. If y'all don't know who that man is, then y'all don't even need to be watching the goddamn round table. You know what I'm saying? And this, this whole fiasco has just been the whole show. But after that deal with the franchise, of course, of course you know what he wants to do. He brings over Aaron and Jesse from D29 show and also Infamous' show. Raw and Anxiety. Also RTW instead of what they used to be in. This right here is just the franchise telling everyone that he is going to take over RTW action and nobody's going to stand in their way. Now, I don't think too many people in the background or in the backstage are very happy, but they said they're going to start that night and well, they started with this man. That would be Ruckus. Did not even see it coming. Ruckus was just on his way to his car, and Drake Deacon just takes advantage, not paying attention, and booyah, everything. Now this right here, this right here, this, this is what, he just left him there after that. He just left him there. And then you see Deja Vu on the ground. Ricky something finds him out of the blue. They get help for that. And then we get a little footage from a camera in the parking lot. And you see Paranormal, it's ran down. I mean, FU just says, okay, we're going to go crazy on these people. And now you have Baby celebrating in the ring because as of the past few years, female characters have not been wrestling. And 2012 is a guarantee that she will be back in action. But Mr. Douglas is, 
Well, he got on the wrong person's side right here. As you see, Nasty throwing him out of the ring after he just saving his girl. But Fu right there. That Nasty said he took it too far right there. But aside from Fu, we have other things going on. Fu's not the main plan. Brian Mercer right here. Brian Mercer and Pyro's group, aka Mike Taylor. He did not know that, but Brian Mercer said uh, he don't want to be in the group no more, and uh, just proved it. That right there was just, I don't know, Brian Mercer just sabotaged Tag Team Gold. He's been waiting for gold. And then when he gets the opportunity to get the gold, well, I guess he doesn't want it anymore. At least not like that. What else we got going on? Corey Sims. He joined me for the, that show while Intercontinental Champion Vince Pride goes up against Rob Fierce, the Canadian Fierce. And right as Vince Pride gets going, Corey Sims with that big, huge spear. Well, since Corey Sims wants to interfere in matches, well, I thought it'd be a pretty good idea to put him in a match to see what he can do. And he goes up against Keith Christian Daniels, where the ref gets knocked out. Corey Sims tries to go, but Keith Christian Daniels with that super kick. That super kick is just awesome. But while the ref is down, well, KCD's not exactly the fighter to fight fair. Oh no, he uses the chair. Wakes the ref up. And Corey Sims just lost his number one contendership to KCD. He wanted to get involved with the Intercontinental title champion. Well, I thought he put his number one contendership on the line. And lastly, lastly, major problem right here. Crazy has been looking for Drake Deacon after he found out that Ruckus was the one, or excuse me, that Drake Deacon was the one who took out Ruckus. And Drake is just telling, trying to calmly tell Crazy that uh, FU's taking over, or Crazy's ready to go right there. But guess who makes his return to the show? RTW Action's own Ice. And Ice having a conversation with Drake Deacon, telling him that he's back. And after that BS. Of him getting attacked by FU, he's ready. He's ready to come back into action. His first match is against him on the next show. Crazy not liking that idea either. So there you have it, people. And I hope to get back to this. Hopefully the show will start soon. Hopefully this weekend is when the first part, at least the first part, will be up. Just guys, just pay, uh, be patient. Stay tuned. This is RTW Action. Let's...